Isn't this pretty? Look at all the colors here. You've got the purple butterfly bush, which has been very popular with butterflies. You'll see a lot more later on in the day. There's a few skippers up there right now that you can see flitting around. This is uh, Salvia darcii, the Darcy sage, a fantastic hummingbird plant. The hummingbirds love this garden. They love this particular area. It has lots of nectar plants in it. During the spring, summer, or fall in the Sacramento Valley, if you have any interest in planting for your garden or landscaping in general, you won't want to miss the UC Davis Arboretum plant sale. Everyone seems to be having a fabulous time today. Uh, we have plenty of plants and plenty of supply for everyone so far. We haven't run out of anything. Um, we have lots of natives, lots of plants for uh, conservation, like pollinators, like hummingbirds and butterflies and just a really good group in perfect weather too. Oh. It's an exciting thing you could do for the beginning of fall season. Thousands of locally grown garden plants are waiting for the throngs of people who will arrive to scoop them up. Got lots of great natives as our theme for this fall. There's um, all of the all-stars, which is a big program here. We have almost all of them. We've had the most of all-stars this sale than we've ever had before. We only don't have five. So we have 95 all-stars, yay. <laughs> if you were to film at the end of the sale, it will look ravaged, which is what I love to see. <laughs> Who are all these mobs of people coming oh, right now? Oh, these are all wonderful members who support the Friends of the Arboretum, which is, of course, the support group for the Arboretum. I mean, we could not do this without them. Arboretum members arrive at the sale early. Some have very specific plants they are after. Others will just figure it out as they go. We're looking to fill in some, uh, some little key spots in our backyard and our front yard. And uh, uh, we were looking for a, co a couple different grass species that uh, we wanted to find. Uh, that we have elsewhere in the yard. We wanted, to, since they're still alive, we want to put some more in. I like the solid oh, I color. The solid color. So this would be good. How about how about these for full sun? A little afternoon shade. Okay. Well, this is the <clears throat> the bush lupin, which I have killed off for several years. <laughs> I keep trying, so hopefully this year I can get it established and doing well in my garden. I think this is our largest plant sale ever in terms of numbers of plants. Our volunteers have been very busy uh, increasing our production capabilities strategically and really uh, reaping the rewards of this new nursery. Oh, you, your name tags right over here. And, Don't ask me. And I think they want you to check in. <laughs> to the public, the plant fairs may seem like magic, but behind the scenes, a lot of volunteer and staff time goes into each sale. Well, we work all year. There are probably 45 volunteers that come in three days a week and cruise. They do the transplanting, the repotting, the weeding, the pruning. So after the spring sales are done, we just get started right away. Lisa's got all her seedlings up and her cuttings ready to go and they just start potting. And then we stop about a month before the sale, let everything grow in. And um, we'll start that cycle all over again next, this fall. The members are fantastic. The members are our lifeblood because they're also our volunteers. All of our volunteers, for the most part, are members. And um, I mean, they're, they're our biggest ambassadors out in the community. I've been a member of the UC Davis Friends of the Arboretum for years <laughs> because it's a great organization. I volunteer helping to propagate, getting ready for the sale. And I love plants and I love to buy plants. So get out your calendar and circle the next Arboretum plant sale. You'll see extraordinary plants and get friendly professional help. Ask me about plants because I'm a knowledgeable plant person and I'm here to answer people's questions. Well, we have this plant that's just really popular because it's always green. You can water it, not water it, it never gets past. It's like the iron plant. Of course, right over there right now, there's a Sternbergia lutea, which is a, it, they call it an autumn crocus. Everything from carnivorous plants to to, to, to the spiky plants, 
to coffee trees. To, I mean, you know, how long has it been since you've seen a coffee tree in, in the nursery? But you can get them here, and they're better than weeping figs. Okay, so anyway, this side, the, the two that are all-stars is the Francis Canada and Ridgeron Carbinskianas. Okay. They're workhorses, you know, you really can do okay. a good job. And you say, oh, I don't like that, or I like that. Yes. And de gustibus non disputanda sunt. Which is? No arguing about taste. Yes. Right. Right. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you can even join the over 2,000 members who help support the Arboretum. If you join today, if you're a new member today, you get a free plant. All members get 10% off their purchases. And if you buy a cartload, that adds up. It pays for the membership pretty much immediately. You get in free to other botanical gardens. You get 10% discount off of different um, classes here on campus, different Arboretum classes. And um, it's just a good thing to do. You're supporting the Arboretum. I've loaded up with some Arboretum All-Stars and some California natives and a few, as you can see, spectacular blooms. Uh, this is one of the uh, events that uh, I look forward to every year as the Arboretum. I feel pretty confident when we buy something that says it's an Arboretum All-Star because I know I'm probably not going to kill it. So, I mean, it's really just a uh, pleasure and a gift to come here and uh, find things that you wouldn't find in any commercial nursery. Flower on the bottom. 